All right, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. Will comes in, says, first thing, I was right. Nope, I was watching the clock, buddy. I was like, I have got to make sure I start the stream before 12. Will said I'd be on in the afternoon. I said I'd be on in the a.m., and I was not lying. It is 11.57 a.m., so good morning, everybody. Good to see you all out there. We got the Elder Rhino, Ulysses, my man. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Will, of course, Robbie. Uh, Thurn, I always mess up your name, brother. I apologize. I don't know why. I, I have such a problem with that. Shad, what's going on, man? And Tyson, welcome, brother. Good to have you here as well. First timer. Get ready to see some uh, trucks getting sent through the, uh, what was it, the flood zone we were working on last night. So let me get this switched over. There you go, Will, exactly. I don't know if you saw the video I posted up on the, uh, the top fan page this morning, man. But uh, we had the uh, the crew out here working this morning on the road. They were doing some good road repair. If you guys didn't see that yet, I posted it up on the top fan page. It's just a joke. It's like road repair crews. Okay, Theron. Is that it? Theron? I, I don't know what my problem is, man. Buddy's running around like a maniac over here next to me. Will, my man. Or, I mean, Kevin. Kevin's saying Will. Alright, so this is where we were at last night. Whoa, what's wrong with the game? There it goes. <sighs> okay, well, you commented. I didn't get to see it yet. Alright, so this is the uh, the vehicle we're working with. It's hauling this truck with garage points. There's a garage somewhere. Yep, it's going to be all the way down here. Man, it's a lot further than I thought it was going to be. So we're just going to cruise straight down through this flooded area and hope that uh, this thing's going to be able to make it. Let me get the diff lock on. And you can see right here it says end of, end of county maintained road. So there's apparently a road right here. Uh-oh. Why is this thing not moving? Did this sink? Something's wrong. It seems like the parking brake's on, but it's not. I don't know why this thing won't move. I'm trying to hit second gear really quick. I don't know what the hell's going on right now. Let me try to adjust the trailer, maybe. Alright, maybe it's bottoming out. So we have this option. To lift the trailer up out of the water a little bit. Okay. So the trailer was getting hung up on something there, I guess. That still doesn't really want to move too much. I'm wondering if there's a fence or something right here we're clipping. Hey, Corey, what's going on, man? This thing's getting hung up on something right now. I don't know what. Pulled into this position last night, no problem. It's very slowly moving. Let me just try to feather the throttle here a little bit so the tires can get grip. It seems like it's hung up on... Uh... Let me just put that all the way up. No, it's not really moving at all now. Eh, it's slowly moving. I'm looking at this distance here to see if we're moving. Try to line it up with something. And we are moving at like a snail's pace. I wonder what the problem is. There we go. There we go. Hey, Charles. What's going on, brother? 
All right, we are un unhooked from whatever I was hooked on. I'm guessing there was like a submerged fence or something right there. Because we are like driving through a neighborhood. All right, well, let's uh, let's take a look and see here. We need to make sure we can kind of stay on course here. Because if we go off course... It's a good chance this thing's going to get flooded. I know, that's the problem, Roy. Leaving it in the mud last night. Damn thing sunk down. I'm going to keep the trailer up like that, too. That is a really cool feature. So this truck and the crane are the two new vehicles that I was trying out last night. Both new mods, and uh, both of them are pretty damn cool. Hey, Kayla, what's going on? Welcome. I'm back out here in the water again. I'm trying to get this truck delivered to the garage that's all the way down through this flooded area. And I don't think that this little truck can make it on its own. So we were like, you know what? Since we got this new vehicle, why not test this out? Front wheels are coming up off the ground right there, so it's not turning. sucks at turning in the first place. Alright, straight out into the water. Look how, look at that angle the cab is sitting at right now. Front tire's like up off the ground. I think that's because of the way I have this trailer positioned. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing though, because the front tires aren't drive tires anyway. It's not a four-wheel drive vehicle or six by six-wheel drive vehicle. Hey, Stephanie, where's Calvin at? Tell him to get out here. This is the map we were working on last night. Look at that. That is pretty cool. It's doing like a wheelie the whole way down through. I think Forward Slash is joining. She's launching the game at least. This is the closest we're going to get to Raft. Uh, it'd be nice if they put out some really cool stuff for Raft, man. Just something good. Blake, my man. Hell yeah. Good to see you again, brother. Coming in with 1,200 freaking stars. Awesome, man. Thank you, brother. That is a good way to start the morning. Oh, nope. It's afternoon now, technically. Thank you, bro. That is amazing right there. Coming in with 1,200 stars. I haven't seen you for a few streams. I'm out here uh, trying not to sink this thing right now. I gotta get a bearing on the map here, make sure we're keeping this straight. Yeah, we gotta go pretty much just straight ahead. Oh man, it's getting real deep. There we go. Because of the angle that the truck is actually sitting with the front tires off the ground, you can see the engine is actually like saving itself. It's taking a little bit of damage because right here's your air box. And I believe that's sucking a little bit of water every once in a while here. Trying to keep this thing straight. Nope, I'm getting crooked a little bit. Oh, we just took a bunch of damage right there. We're about halfway totaled right now. We're 338 out of 600 right now, but it keeps ticking up. 345, 352. We got to get there quickly. Man, this is some deep water here, I'll tell you what. It's a good thing I brought this vehicle. There's no way this 131 would have made it out here by itself. There's no way. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we're getting into serious damage here. 18, uh-oh. 489 out of 600. 500 out of 600. We got 100 damage left, and this thing is going to be totaled. 14, 530. Oh, 547. It's not going to make it. It's losing power. Come on, baby. Keep going. 584, and it's totaled. Damn it. Why did that have to freaking get so deep right there? Was I coming through the wrong area? I mean, this definitely looks like this is where the road would have been. Maybe I should have been over to the left a little bit more. Yep, probably. All right, well, let's see. Does this 131 have any... No, it's not going to have any repairs on it. 
And this doesn't have any options to carry repairs. Oh, that is really dangerous. So, what is in this? I doubt this will be able to tow that thing, but uh, we're going to try to make it tow it. Howard, it didn't make it, man. Just drinking too much water. Calvin's at work? Okay. What's up, Cody? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Will, that sounds like a Kevin solution right there, man. Cover the uh, the airbox with the KFC bucket. All the grease will uh, keep the water out. That's a solid Kevin idea. Somehow there's got to be an onion involved there as well. I'm trying to stay to the left a little bit where I think the road actually is. Now it looks like it's just deep out there in general. Let's see if this thing has any power to pull that out. Hey Rob, what's going on, brother? I think it's it's slowly moving. Yeah, it is. Where is the road at here? It's hard to tell. I know there's like a shallow area. Let me look at the map. Yeah, I need to keep going this way. It's slowly moving. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'll try to line it up with something. Right here is where I need to go, and you can see it's slowly pulling over this way. I'm trying to get this so that the wheels are just barely spinning. How you're gonna get the most traction, like right there. You want that creeper pace. Slowly pulling this thing up out of the water. Let me hit the winch. Man, that thing is really anchored. Might need to go forward a little bit here and throw another winch line back. There we go. So I started going forward a little bit, and as I was moving, I threw the winch line back and kept moving to keep the momentum going. See the bumper is coming up out of the water right now. I mean, it's a lot of weight that this thing is pulling right now. That truck in itself is pretty heavy. It's got the trailer and then a truck on top of that trailer. I'm gonna have to cut this winch. Yep, there we go. There we go, it's slowly coming towards us. It looks like when I cut that winch, it actually started to roll back into the water. Let's see if we can keep this thing going. Nope, I'm not losing any vehicles, brother. We're going. Come on, come on. Pulling that trailer around is not an easy task. Because of those wheels that are on that thing. I can't even lower that trailer right now because that truck is completely broken. So there's nothing we can do with that. Looks like somebody else joined the game. Not sure who that is. Hey Josh, what's going on brother? Yeah, we got a road in front of us, Tyson. We're good, man. 
We've made it now. We got through the hard part. I'm not sure if all those tires are on the ground back there, or if it's just a rear row, or how that's working. Jacob, what's going on, man? I see you over there on the YouTube side of things. Here's the garage. This is where we needed to go. Put this over here. Now, we're not going to have enough uh, points to open this garage just yet. So what I'm going to be able to do is, I can unload the 131, drop off the two points out of that, and then we'll take this D-Series back through the uh, through the flood zone. I'm not sure, I don't think this one... I don't think this one um, gets the, uh, the repair kit, I'm not sure, I don't really remember. I'm going to have to drive this off of here because that other truck doesn't work. I'm not going to be able to put that ramp down. I don't think. Let's just see. No. A Mud Runner 2? Yeah, man, I know. Me, same here. I'm just really excited to see what all these new features are going to be. I mean, they've listed it all, but I just need to see it for myself. Hopefully, it's going to be good, man. Obviously, they didn't put in everything in the game that I wanted them to put in, but... I just hope that uh, I'm not disappointed with the game. That's going to be my biggest thing. We got the, f the uh, fuel station out here in the middle of the water. And there's also a lumber mill up there. This is a crazy map. Here's Tim's favorite vehicle. Got the uh, K9000 forwarder here as well. That's a pretty good vehicle. That is a good truck. Tractor. Forwarder. Whatever you want to call it. We got the K700. It's your typical loading vehicle. They gave us a little... Look at this thing. The most useless vehicle in the game. Why? Why is this here? It's a stupid little tractor. And it's got this fuel cart that you can pull around with it. It's against rear wheel drive only. It typically gets like no traction. This will just be like a little fuel station right here. Let's just pull this over out of the way. All right, let's bring this thing back over now. Because I don't think that Peterbilt's going to make it through this water. I don't think... I know the crane isn't. That C4310 probably isn't either. So I think the only thing that I can really deliver any garage points with is going to be this vehicle right here. And this should be able to carry two points, I think. I don't think this has a trailer. I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah, Howard, exactly. I took out the dam with a truck earlier when I was playing ATS. Bust out the duck? The duck, Kevin? How am I gonna drive a, a duck? Oh, holy shit. Damn, this thing's already done? Is this not the same trail we came through? Oh, wow, look at that. That's how they want you to go. Well, how the hell did I get through that deep area before? I guess I wasn't really supposed to be going through there. <laughs> that makes sense. 
Okay, well, we just sunk that D-series. That kind of ruined our little plan there, but we're going to get this and see if that can just pull that out of the water enough so that the engine can get started back up. Nice, Jacob. Working on forklifts, trying to stay busy. Friday, right on, man. Be successful this time. We got this. Boy, it looks like there's a lot of chemicals in the water around here. What's the deal? Trying to winch from the front of the truck. There we go. My god, that thing is barely moving. There it goes. Uh, he's got his truck here. I think I got it, bro. Yeah, John, I'll be on GTA later, man. Uh, so the plan of the day, guys. The plan of the day is going to be... We're going to do some of this. And uh, we're going to do some Mud Runner. And then I plan to... I wanted to do some Men of War Assault Squad. I wanted to stream some of that. I also need to work on the server for Grand Theft Auto. And then jump into Grand Theft Auto later today into uh, tonight. So that's hopefully the plan here. Uh, will... No. I'm not sure actually if that server restart was uh, sorted out last night... Where was I last night at that time? I, I don't think so. Do we remember? What happened last night? Was I on the server, Will? I can't even remember, man. It's all a blur. No, last night we were playing, uh, we were playing this. So, we still don't know if that has been, uh, sorted out yet or not. Andrew, what's going on, brother? Cool, John, you'll be on? Nice. Yeah, we're gonna get the uh, server population up in the Grand Theft Auto server. Nope, I gotta check the map. Yeah, we're going a little too far off course here. This is gonna be the way. We got three speeds, but we got it in third. Uh, yeah, Kevin said, don't forget Dead by Daylight. I know, I was talking to Bud last night about playing some Dead by Daylight here soon, brother. The hell was that? Andrew, I'm doing good too, man. Appreciate those hundred stars, brother. Thank you. Whoa! Holy shit, Andrew. I just took my eyes off the screen there. That wasn't a good idea. Forward, save me. Help me, brother. Yeah, well, I know that I took off one of the times for the uh, the restart, so hopefully that time that I got rid of is the time that uh, is the eleven o'clock hour restart. It's weird how they have that all set up. I didn't technically wreck it. I, I flooded it.
Oh, it would help if I turn my parking brake off. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm looking at Will's comment talking about last night on Grand Theft Auto, or not last night, the night before, when I was running around throwing grenades in the back of the cop pickup truck beds. Bro, that was pretty funny. That especially that one time when I rolled up on that cop, and uh, he was dealing with that car. And I rolled up, and he was like, hey, aren't you Johnny Fingers? And I threw the grenade over the top of my truck into the back of his bed, and he was just like, oh, no. And the whole damn gas station exploded. Oh, my God, dude. Too funny. Ow, what's going on, Al? I see you, brother. Oh, no, you can't winch through there, brother. You just drive around here, then. It's no problem. That's too far, the winch isn't gonna reach. You'd have to really get the whole thing submerged. Oh, Jesus, not again. Oh, they got a narrow little trail right here. Now, Will, is are you the one that posted up that clip? I thought so. Yeah, dude, that was amazing. I watched that like five times. I thought it was hilarious. What was the other one? There was another clip somebody posted up that was pretty funny. I think it was Ed, maybe. I see the grass. I'm following the grass. Let me check the map. Okay, so there's a nice little area right here. He could... I don't know where he's going. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back that way. This is the view to be in, man. This way, when you go into the deep area, all you see is just a face full of water. Al says you see me hacking into my camera again. What camera, Al? Oh, <laughs> I see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking right at you, Al. <laughs> You're wearing your Rhino shirt. Where'd this guy go? to give a full throttle so my tires can get good grip. There we go. Submarine. Yeah, I don't think these trucks work like that, man.
No, I saw the one where I was fused in the other cop. I think Eric commented, uh, buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh my god, Will. What is that in the water right there? Oh, it's a trash can. There's somebody's mailbox. There's a neighborhood out here somewhere. Alright, I gotta stick to the left a little bit more here. Alright, running third gear strong, guys. Definitely gotta go over this way a lot more. Yeah, right over towards that water tower. The mustache is tickling my nose. Where is it here? Straight ahead. Did the bank take the farm yet? Ow, I was just talking about the farm with somebody. I gotta go back out there. I, I definitely plan on going back out to the farm. It's just, uh, it's gotta be the right, the right time for the farm, man. It's gotta be the right season, bro. Can't grow crops anytime. It's middle of the winter on the farm right now. That's what people don't understand. I think I'm good if I just keep going straight all the way to this area right here. There's that trash can. Another one. There was a trash can. What's up, Matthew? Chris, my man, what's going on, brother? Just making my way through the flood zone here. <laughs> well, I would never require that, man. I'd have zero supporters. That is funny. Hey, Kirk, what's going on, brother? About to sink this damn thing. Come on, the trail's got to be right here. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. If I stop, it'll stall. Man, that's a hell of a sinkhole right here. Holding it down in second. Let's throw it into third. Oh man, eating fuel. 38 liters a minute right now. Yeah, let's back that down to first, actually. 30 liters a minute. 29, 28. I'm just burning up fuel, spinning my tires like that. Better to be uh, getting the traction and going through here. Because look, I'm still spinning tires pretty well. This is some muddy, sloppy crap right here. Chickens, 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 Roy says. Chicken, Roy's all about the chickens on Farming Sim, man. That is his cash crop. Mine is, is uh, silage, man. That's my go-to. Silage. Take your money. Steven, what's going on, man? Back out in the flood zone again here today. We're making our way to the garage. Going to get some garage points. Then we got to come back through the flood zone and drop off down there. Let me see, is there a fuel station? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, the only fuel station is up here in the flood zone. He said, you might want to take it off all-wheel drive, or drive slow, or switch to another truck. <laughs> I said, not options. <laughs> we got to be going fast at all times, running all-wheel drive. 
in this truck. That's what we gotta do, man. At least turn the uh, all-wheel drive off on the asphalt. Victor says boring ass. Oh, Victor, I'm sorry that you're a boring ass, man. Not everybody can be as exciting as I am, Victor. But if you stick around and you keep watching, man, you might learn a thing or two here, brother. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Especially with that kind of attitude. This thing has no problem crossing this area. Ah, eh, maybe I spoke too soon. It still seems like it's doing pretty damn good compared to the other trucks when they came through here. Nice. Peterbilt's still sitting here on the side on standby. That truck wouldn't be able to cross this flood zone either. There's just no way. Who is that? Ford. Okay, I was going to say. He's got the garage points right there loaded up. That's what we're going to pick up now, too. And I'm trying to think oh, of how... Okay. We've got, I think, two dropped off right now. Two points. This thing will never make it, dude. You're crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> if he can get through there with that trailer, I'll be pretty impressed. Well, he probably will. It just It's going to take him quite a while. See this guy sitting there. Where's my tractor? It's got a little bit of fuel in it. We'll dump this in there. You should go to the Cedar Point monster truck thing going on there this month. Where's that? No, I don't have a truck rigged with fuel. The that was the first one. That was the first time I loaded this map up and I brought the 131. That was loaded up with fuel. Second time I brought the tow truck and that doesn't come with anything. So that's probably why. Yeah, Travis, that was probably Victor. You usually want me to do the challenge and drive all the way through that damn water to the garage. Uh, I, I couldn't understand him. What? I think he said something about a challenge. Get it, brother. Oh, Kibby would definitely be in the bison. He'd just be driving up and down this main paved road. That's what he would be doing. No, we know Kibby. He'd be trying to follow me through the deepest areas of the water. Travis, coming in with this two-month supporter anniversary. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate the continued support, brother. Ow. <laughs> Ow, I don't care, bro. It's not like it's really a problem. Oh, we're going to the flood zone, brother. I know you're confident in making it there in your truck, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure that that gets opened up here. Can't climb in the second, or was that third? First will do it. Matthew, going back to work? All right, man. You have a good day, brother. I will be out here sinking trucks, getting garages opened up. Trying to encourage Victor. Travis said, didn't know about my support. 
glad to be on board. Right on, my man. You're in the rhino pack here. You're right in there. Ah, I was too busy making tacos. Unbelievable, Al. I think I'm gonna drop this down a second. I don't have the all-wheel drive on. I'm trying to keep that off. Conserve on fuel. I could do the turn it on for a little bit, turn it off. No, doesn't make a difference. Might have to just go creep in here. No, it's pretty much a straight shot from here down. So I should be able to keep the all-wheel drive on. Theoretically, I should be able to make it. Okay, so the map is definitely, uh, this is a mod map, this is going to be called Backwoods 2 Aftermath. And I gotta, I gotta map out my route here. So yeah, they literally don't really have... ...too legitimate of a course for you to take down through there. That was pretty much chaos going that way. So, and I also have two uh, really cool modded vehicles here, but I have a total of three. I have the Peterbilt, which a lot of you guys have seen on other streams. I also have a new crane vehicle, which is really cool. It's a big crane. You can swivel it around. You can move the boom up and down. You can move the, um, the hook up and down. So that thing is really cool. You can pick up trucks, move them out of the water, flip trucks back over with it. Very, very cool mod. I mean, that is going to be one of the top mods that I think I've ever seen in this game. Um, I also have along with me the... Was it the Hyder... Hater... What is it? Or Hayes... <laughs> Hater. The Hayes HDX. That thing is really cool. It's not all-wheel drive, but the rear wheels have a lot of power and a lot of torque. And it also has a huge flatbed trailer with a ramp that you can load other trucks onto. And the cool thing about that one is, is that, you know, when you're usually driving along with those big flatbed trailers, the trailer's really low to the ground and it'll get hung up on things. Well, the truck has an option where you can bring the trailer, like, up like that and then it won't, it won't, uh, get hung up. Two of the coolest mods I, I can remember seeing in a long time, man. There's some cool trucks and everything, but it's really awesome when they add something to the game that I've never seen before. Something they, you know, when they bring a completely new resource to the game like that crane. That I am really impressed by. Whoever put that thing together, man. They need to be making more assets for this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the F-350 with us, too, Will. I forgot about that one. So I have a total of four modded vehicles out here. The F-350 is Will's... Uh, he likes to call it the Ford, I think. I know. The Dodge. <laughs> F-350 is a Ford. Will swears it's a Dodge. But they do look very similar when you compare the pictures. I need to go grab myself a drink here. And where am I at? Getting a little off course, but we're still in the uh, the good zone. And then gonna make the left. Making your own cheese, Al. Yeah, I want to see that. Let's look for all the debris. What is that? This is skid. There's the mailbox. And there's that trash can again. So I know I'm in the right area. Straight ahead over here is where we got to go.
the Dodges and the Fords do look similar, Will. Oh, are you kidding me? I just stalled out. It says I didn't push in the clutch. Oh my gosh. Grind them till you find them. It's a hell of a detour they make you take here. Now oh, you gotta go meeting the new nephew. Awesome, man. Congratulations on the new family member, bro. Suggest the name Rhino. Just, you know, it's not too late for them to change that. Come on, Ford. Follow Rhino. I know the way, man. I got a built in compass that I keep referring to. Alright, we gotta go this way. wheel drive on at the moment either. It's pretty good, man. See forward bringing up the rear here. And I gotta check on my Mod++, Plus Plus because that's definitely not installed. If you notice, we can't see his headlights back there. pretty much straight if I can uh, keep it from stalling out Travis I'm gonna have the same problem here soon with my shifter brother the way I grind through these gears gonna need something stronger in there Boosted vehicle problems. Is it a is it a vehicle like this, Travis? Hey James, what's up man? Buddy guy. Buddy guy is uh he's sleeping right now. He might be on the server tonight, I don't know. I don't know who we're gonna go out and be tonight. Get a little deep. Yep, going off the track here. Actually, it looks like I can almost see. No, that's smoke. Now I can see a truck windshield. We'll aim right for that truck windshield. Straight ahead. I think that's the 131 that I left sitting there. Be able to 
gonna just hook it over right here and send it straight on to the garage. Oh, oh God! <laughs> that was too much of a hook. Where is it? That turned way too much. Right over here it is. Oh, alright, cool, man. I've tinted a bunch of those, Travis. And the RSs. Alright, there we go. He says RIP. What did he sink his truck? No, he's over here. All right, we got this garage opened up. Good stuff. The HDX can now switch over to the log cart. Oh, cool. Log cart actually carries repair and fuel. So that is pretty cool. Oh, I got to start the engine. I'm like, wait, I can't move it up and down still? Look at this, you can shrink the trailer. And pull that right up onto the back of the truck. That is pretty badass, man. So that pole basically just slides in between that cart. You still have this big long shaft <laughs> sticking out of the back. Oh boy, the comments that are gonna come in. All right, let me go get uh, let me go get myself a drink here, guys. And then we're going to take this bad boy out into uh, the wilderness and go get some logs picked up. I think these guys are going to work on the garages. So, uh, yep, I will be right back, guys. Hang with me. More to come.
All right, <clears throat> back in business. Why is that, James? You just dropped a whole bowl of cereal on the floor? Oh my God, dude. Wow, Travis, really? That's a crazy problem, man. TJ just came in with his three-month supporter anniversary as well while I was away there. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate the continued support, TJ. Um, where is the kiosk? It's here somewhere. There it is. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think you can connect through here. Go around. I wonder if we could get this through that flooded area. We might be able to get through this shorter area. Let's just try it. Worst case scenario, we got the D-Series. We could just go pull this thing back out of the water. Whoa. No, it's not moonshine. <laughs> I got my shine. real dark all right cool he can uh, he can load us up we got to get over here to the fuel station so we got to go through here where was that connecting area I think it's over here so maybe I do want to go straight through where forward slash is Nice, Martin says he'll be on in a minute. There's my man, Brian. Brian, what is going on, brother? How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Hoping that I'm not going to flood this thing. Yeah, one of the things that... Uh, it's kind of annoying now that Mod++ isn't working is that I can't zoom out the camera as far. It's like you're sucked into the vehicle right here. Yep, Josh, definitely going to be on some uh, GTA later this afternoon. We are going to do some more spin tires here until I get uh, hungry. I'm going to take lunch. I'm going to take lunch, come back, going to do some Men of War Assault Squad. That's the RTS World War II game that I've been playing. I'm going to do more of that today. And then after I'm done with that, I need to do some work on the server until I go live with that, which will be hopefully around 8 o'clock. 
hopefully, 8 o'clock, because uh, I got a bunch of stuff I'm trying to get done on the server, I'm trying to move all of the jobs up to the north half of the map. So basically, by the time I'm done, man, that whole server is going to be completely custom, down to everything. I mean, the basic principle of the jobs will all be the same, but I'm going to customize all the new locations. Try to expand upon the jobs a little bit so there's more to them. And, like, you're not just delivering to one location. There'll be multiple locations hopefully you can deliver to. And, um... Getting, uh, the markers all switched up to the north part of the map. Because that was one of the other issues. Some of the things were up there, but they weren't marked. Right? Yes, about long logs. I would imagine this is taking long logs as big as this trailer is. Do you hear me clearly now? Uh... Alright. So there should be an area through here. Zoom in. Nope, I don't want to do that. Okay. There is a trail there. No, there is a little tiny trail right there. It's really narrow. And one thing you can't do with this truck is you can't turn all-wheel drive on or off. But fuel consumption with this truck isn't really that bad at all. It's actually got really good fuel consumption considering, uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it's like a 12 cylinder engine. So, this is gonna be somewhere right in here. This is a small section, so we gotta make sure we hit this. Looks like it's right here. Sun's like almost hurting my eyes a little bit. It's so bright on my screen. All right, underwater fuel station. Where are you? Straight ahead. I guess it'll be uh, self-explanatory when we get up here. Oh man, James, that sucks, brother. No, actually, we've been having really nice weather here. It was really nice yesterday. This morning it turned out kind of crappy, but the sun has come out now. Nope, oh, still not in the fuel station. There we go. Trailer carries an extra 100 liters of fuel, which is pretty handy. Now, it looks like... It looks like I might be able to just keep going straight. Let me just double check and see. The log kiosk is over here. And I don't think we can get through there anywhere. If we came back and we came across here, then we could get to the kiosk that way. Then double back, oh. come straight across, and deliver up here to that lumber mill. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me just turn this around. We'll head back into the water. If I'm going to fall off the goddamn tall bridge now, I'm actually going to kill him. If he falls off the bridge, he's going to kill himself, he says. Definitely would not suggest falling off bridges. I've learned that mistake. Bridges are not my friend in this game. Josh says it's 82 there. I don't know how uh, warm it is here. Probably in the 70s.
Brian's having lots of rain in Idaho. Yeah, we've been having tons of rain in Pennsylvania, man. Looks like I see stuff on the internet all the time. Memes people post up, and they're like, Oh, I just went into the future, and it's still raining in Pennsylvania. Are you serious? Hello, Blitz. I fucking drop I fucking hit the road so hard at such high speed that the trailer literally dug itself into the asphalt road. It's probably gonna be stuck there now for the rest of the game too. I'm gonna fish that out later. Gotta come down through here. Over to the trail. I might need to do no. a microphone just yep. because this thing is monthly. I don't know what he said, but right on, brother. There's Adam. What's going on, Adam? We're in the HDX, man. Going to get some logs. I see uh, three and three. Three and three. That equals absolute beast. Ah, come on. It gets straight up here. Oh, holy shit! Don't panic. <laughs> Hang on a second here. Time to fucking fish that goddamn blood trailer out. I swear to god, if I can fish it out, I will actually rage quick. Nice, you're ready here. Come on. Come on. If it was all-wheel drive, that front tire would start to dig into the ground. There we go. Oh shit, I clicked off the screen. Uh oh. There we go. Put my trailer back up. There we go. Alright, logging kiosk is straight ahead here. Nope, not disconnected, buddy. Adam, that was pretty good, wasn't it? It was funny stuff, man. My favorite moment, I think, was when the police were at the police station training a new officer. And uh, Johnny Fingers wanted a little revenge, so he drove up to the front of the station, threw a grenade over the top of the truck, hit the door, slid in the door just a little bit. Johnny Fingers yelled, hey, Kafas! <laughs> and the thing exploded and killed everybody in there. That was just the greatest moment right there, man. That's why Johnny Fingers is the best, man. The guy's gonna go down in history. Jesus, look at this loading area. Nice and level. Come on. When in doubt, wiggle, wiggle your wheels. Oh, this is ridiculous.
you know, he added this logging kiosk. I was reading, remember? Last night, I read it out. He added this logging kiosk after the fact. So he had time to plan out where he wanted to put this. And this is the location that he mapped out. Awesome, awesome location, brother. All right, we got four short logs there. We're not gonna be able to use those with this one. 99% sure it's gonna take long logs. This crane right here can't load logs. That was a request from the community that the uh, the guy that made this thing makes it so you can load logs with this. So we can't use this in any way other than just recovering other vehicles. But I just wanted to make note and show everybody this vehicle because this thing is so freaking awesome. One of the best mods that I've seen in a long time. Captain says be a criminal GTA 5, please. Most likely I will be a criminal tonight, man. Probably all day I'll be a criminal. Seems like we have enough cops on the server now. Uh, the Peterbilt. I don't believe the Peterbilt has any kind of crane capabilities. We're going to take this back and we will uh, check it out. Man, this guy's having a hard time. He is having a hell of a time here at the game. Slow and easy, man. It's Mud Runner. This game can be the king of uh, frustration. He detached the trailers, his trailer, and landed on his wheels, and instantly flipped again into the river. What the hell is he doing? Okay, so this can haul another type, another small vehicle. It has the dumper. You can haul logs in there. Hauls fuel. Actually has a medium log cart, I believe. Or is that a long log cart? I think that might be a long log cart. It's just five points. So, yeah, long log cart. Utility, garage, fuel. I've got uh, this forwarder over here. I can take this over. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get the crane on this. Aaron, my man from Canada, loving Johnny Fingers the other night. Awesome, brother. Good to hear, man. Everybody likes Johnny Fingers, from what I... Well, Mrs. Rhino doesn't like Johnny Fingers. <laughs> Especially when he's here at the house, off stream. <laughs> oh, man. Where can I get a tow truck to use for the job in GTA 5 RP? Um, there's two locations. They should both be marked. Um... In Sandy Shores, there's two spots, there's two uh, mechanic garages, and I am going to be adding one later today up in uh, Polito Bay. But they are marked on the map with like a little wrench. A little wrench, not the big icons, the little one. There's the loader, that's what we need. Josh would say I put Johnny Fingers in jail for life. Hey, Johnny Fingers doesn't like that. Johnny don't want to hear that, Josh. Johnny didn't do nothing to you. You don't need to do nothing to Johnny.
And there are, what, three different tow trucks? None of them work perfectly. It's just the sort of way it goes. This thing's really slugging along. I wish it was the... Okay, so right now with all-wheel drive off, you're going to have these front four tires that are going to be uh, your drive tires. I wish it was this tire and this tire. The four center tires were your drive tires. That would be so much better for the vehicle to get around. You wouldn't need all-wheel drive as much. I got to contact these companies. Let them know. Look, I got a lot of experience out here in the woods. No, oh, Adam won't be on tonight. He's got a baseball game. Come on, Adam. We need a tow truck driver, man. Call in sick. Unless you're going to watch it, then you can just watch it on your TV while you're in the GTA server. Same thing, man. Yeah, I've been on the trail for years. El Capite Rhino. All wheel drive on. We gotta check the map. I think we're making a left hand here. Yeah, this is gonna be our turn. We're gonna come down here. Loop around and come right into the back of the uh, the loading area. This is gonna be perfect. Come on. Come on. Here we go. I think what he was just saying was that uh, what you can do is, in certain situations, I've done this, you can um, back your truck, like if you're trying to winch something and it keeps pulling your truck backwards as you're trying to winch it, just back your truck up to a tree or something and then send the winch back and then as you're pulling it, your truck will just, you know, brace itself against the tree and the winch will pull the vehicle towards you. I think that's what he's saying. I don't know what kind of situation they got going on over there, but I guess they got a stuck vehicle. I hear somebody's horn. Oh, he's over on the other side. I'm going under the bridge right now. That's why the camera looks like that. Nice, Adam. Going to the ballpark to watch it live, he says. Like I said, bro, TV, comfort of home, GTA 5. <laughs> no, it's totally understandable, man. I've been to many baseball games. It's all about the, uh, the experience, the environment. Watching it on TV, there's just... Uh, <laughs> There's no comparison in the slightest bit. Josh says he's going to get his laptop fixed so he can play GTA. GTA is a good time, man. Yep, straight ahead. There's so many different things you can do. But you're just limited to your own imagination when it comes to role-playing, too. Like, you got to imagine, guys... There's people out there right now, there's hundreds of servers out there, full right now. And when I say full, we're going to say 32 player minimum, but there are servers with even more people than that. But there's hundreds of servers out there with 32 people in it, playing GTA 5 role-playing right now. And there's not even necessarily any streamers in some of these servers. Some of them, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of streamers in some of these servers. But some of these servers, they're out there role-playing every day all day with nobody streaming nobody watching or anything they're just enjoying being involved in role playing and doing it all the time it'd be really cool to go out onto a server like that sometime 
just to see the environment that they have set up and how everybody interacts with each other. There's so many out there, but you gotta go through such a process to get into the, the good ones, you know what I mean? You gotta put in an application, they're gonna go and review your application, and then they'll get back to you and be like, nah, you're not gonna get in. I've talked to a couple people, man, who have uh, put in applications to try to get into RP servers, and really, really, like, you know, put a decent attempt at it, too. They didn't just throw together an application. They like spent time making a backstory and everything like that. And uh still don't get in. What the hell is this guy doing with his anchors? called I gotta look oh, I don't have it um, what are those it's not they're not actually called anchors I'm having a moment. Why can't I think what the hell they're called? Um. Somebody help me out. What are they called? Oh, great. He can't. Can I think what those are called? <laughs> this guy's freaking out, dude. He's like, help, help, I'm getting swept away for the love of God. It's like, dude, I can see you on my screen, you're fine. <laughs> Roy, my man, outriggers. God, thank you, Roy. It's freaking driving me nuts. All I can think of are anchors. <laughs> outriggers. Darren said stabilizers. Roy, my man, coming in with that crucial outrigger information right there. Now that I'm done. Yes, outriggers. Man, those freaking space moments. Space cadet moments. My man Roy, saving me, saving my brain. Rip your truck, rip your, your truck. I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he's pretty entertaining. <laughs> rip, rip my truck? What about my truck? My truck's fine. Unless he means his other truck. It looked like he had a 131 sitting in the water there. Let me see here. 
Yep, straight on through. Straight on through to the other side, boys. No, I'm just gonna use this as a loader, I think. Hey, there's Bud. Jeremy, good to see you guys. Bud, you gonna be on the server tonight, man? We're talking about GTA in here. I gotta, I'm gonna be working on the server here for a bit uh, later. So the plan is, I'm gonna do a little bit more Mud Runner. It's like 1.30 now. I'm trying to plan out my day. Maybe we'll go to 2 o'clock with Mud Runner. And then I'm gonna take a break, get some lunch, do some Men of War. And then I'm gonna work on the server for a while, and then probably jump into um, Grand Theft Auto as soon as I get done working on the server, which usually takes a while, so I need to make sure that I give myself plenty of time to be able to do that. Did I just push that log, he says. <laughs> you damn well know you just pushed that log. feed and drink for a player. I'm tired of... Adam, you gotta go to, um... If you look on the map, you'll see there's little, um... What the hell is this guy doing? He's loading this vehicle. <laughs> I'm not even using this thing. God bless him. He's trying to be a team player, guys. That's, that's what's important. saying oh yeah 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 you gotta look for the shopping cart or the shopping basket I believe um, on the map go into that location and then you buy food and drinks in there and then once you have the food and the drinks bought uh, hit K open your phone and Sorry, I'm doing two things at once. Open your phone, go down to inventory, and then you can go to each item in your inventory and eat it. Like, you select the item and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna give it, uh, or trash it, or eat it, I think. It's the same with the food and the, uh, the water. Actually, I'm going to turn around and go uh, this way. Yep, we'll just make a little loop here. To get to that point in the game where it's like... Getting dark, but not dark enough for headlights. Toby, I got that from my mom, man. She would always say that. In the same context.
Yeah, but the steering wheel and the pedals and the shifter, man, make it so much more enjoyable to play these these truck games. Racing games, trucking games, anything where you can use the steering wheel, man. Any game that I can use the steering wheel with, I always do. It's just, it's, it's just the best. It's the best way to get a, the best experience out of it. Like, even with GTA, I wish so bad that on my server, the steering wheel would work. Single player, I can get the steering wheel to work in GTA. It's awesome. Steering wheel and the pedals. But in the server, you need client-side scripts to work. And they don't work because I don't know exactly why, but it's usually recommended to have them not work because of cheaters and people that can just screw up the server, basically. But it'd be pretty damn nice, man. If we could, if I could use the steering wheel in the game. Adam, you got, okay, so let me uh, clarify some things about when you look up a brand new G27 steering wheel and shifter and everything online, you're going to be looking at like $800 sometimes. Don't pay that. Nobody in their right mind should be paying over $300 for a G27. The only reason those ones are marked up like that is because you can't buy these things new anymore. Those are just ones that people still have boxed up and they're they're selling it as new. But you can't re you're not going to get this thing retail anymore because they have the G27 out or sorry, the G29 out and the G920. They put out these two new versions of the steering wheel which replace the G27. If you want to get the G27, I would suggest getting a used one. Make sure it's in good condition, and you're going to pay, like I said, maybe 200, 200, 300 bucks. Now, you can get a G29, all said and done, I think for $300. So, you got to weigh it out. Why would you want one over the other? Well, I like the G27 personally because on the shifter over here, which comes with it, the G29, it doesn't come with the shifter. It's a separate thing that's 50 bucks. So I think you can usually get the steering wheel and the pedals for 250, and then the steering wheel, or the, I'm sorry, the shifter for 50. And then you're looking at like 300. I've seen them listed up to like 400, though, uh, for the pair as well. So it just depends on where you're getting it from. Make sure you shop around. I think my trailer's getting hung up on something here. Let's use our uh, option. fixed pretty much let me go over what I was talking about here so with the G27 the reason that you get the shifter with it automatically is because there are there's four buttons on here then you have a d-pad you know like the directional pad that you have on most controllers and then there's four more buttons below that okay I love being able to have the buttons over here on the shifter it's a major assistance because I can use this hand to push buttons on this steering wheel and I can use this hand to push buttons over here on the shifter. The G29, because the shifter is sold separately, they don't have any buttons on the shifter. Every button is on the steering wheel. I, you know, it's kind of up to you on uh, what your preference is. You can look at a picture of what the G29 steering wheel looks like, what the G27 steering wheel looks like. I think the G27 looks a little cooler, in my opinion. The G29 is cool, looks like more like a racing steering wheel, it has all these buttons on it, but I like the sleekness of the G27, and I like the six buttons that are on here. I just think this was a much better design, man, when they did it this way. But enough about that. I didn't even know they had a demo for ATS. Yeah, but uh, when I first started playing this game, I played the original Spin Tires and Mud Runner for a long time without a steering wheel. And uh, I started getting into ATS and I didn't have a steering wheel. And I was like, man, I bet this would be a lot better 
you know, actually driving and shifting gears in these trucks would be so much cooler. So I decided to get the G27, and uh, it's beyond a day and night difference, let me tell you. It's that much better. And then if you even want to go further with your American Trucking Simulator experience, you get one of these truck shift knobs like I have here with the switches on it. So you can split your gears, you know, your highs and your lows. If they made it so that Mud Runner you can split your gears and highs and lows and use this knob with this, that would be amazing. What button do you hit to roll over? What's going on, Gary? Is that Sushel? Sushel? Is that right? I believe it is. Welcome. Go to Green Dragon. They have some things. 100 stars. Bro, I've been to Green Dragon, man. I used to go there all the time when I was younger, bro. It's a flea market. I haven't been there forever. When the little Ryanette gets out of school, maybe I'll take her there. What day of the week is that, Roy? I forget. Yeah, 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 exactly. And Adam, I've seen these G27s listed on Amazon in various places listed. Anywhere from $750 up to like $1,200. And I'm just like, that's insane, dude. That's insane. But it's just because, you know, if you want a G27 and you want it brand new, are you going to pay that much money? Apparently, there's people that do. That really makes me wonder about the G29's quality and everything like that. I've never touched one. I've never used one. I recommend them because I know a lot of people who do use them. But personally speaking, comparing it between a 27 and a 29, I have no idea. No idea. Obviously, Logitech is going to list it as being much better. Jeremy, if you just got a brand new car, man, yeah, definitely recommend getting some uh, paint protection film, at least on your bumper. You could do so many inches back the hood, but keep in mind, it is pretty expensive, and you're going to want to go with either one of two brands. Seriously. You either want Expel or you want SunTech. Don't, I, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Coming from somebody who's been in the uh, the field for a long time. Those are the two that you're going to want to either go with, brother. And make sure you see the guys work, too, before you spend money on them. Be like, I want to see some cars that you've done. And really look closely. Or you could just go to Ceramic Pro, get a ceramic coating done on your car. It's not going to be exactly the same. But... Uh, it definitely does help. All right, here's the lumber yard. Do not litter. Nice. It was listed as a five-point load, I thought. Awesome. Completely knocked out that lumber mill. I believe there's, what, one more? Yep, right here. Man, everything else is completed. With that garage is open, that garage is open. All right, cool.
Oh, this doesn't take medium logs. Take short logs. Shit. Let's just throw these over there for now. Drop those logs in the back of his wagon over there, since he's waiting. Yes, Will, I have, actually. Not a bank driver job icon in Sandy Shores. Yeah, I know, Jesse. I'm working on the bank driver job last night. Somebody told me about that. Um, Will, why are you asking about that? What's that in reference to? <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to get the bank driver job moved up, uh, and there's a few other ones as well. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but uh, the truck driver job doesn't seem to be working. I don't know if that's just on my end or what's going on. I was asking somebody about that last night. I think it was Bud. And he was like, oh, I didn't even know we had that job. Is that you, Bud? I looked, the files are in there. Everything is listed. It's kind of weird. And I thought that I streamed that job. Remember I went down to location, I was trying to pick up a fuel trailer, and then I was driving around to the gas stations? Yeah, definitely. But the thing that I wasn't sure about was, is that before I switched the server over to the uh, framework that we're currently using? Was that an ESX mod? I don't know. He should be good to go now. One more. All right, cool. Loaded up, ready to roll. We need to head back. No, we don't need to head back. We need to go forward. Wow. 
I follow a few guys on Insta. They do some sick work. Just gave away a Corvette. Gave away a Corvette or gave away work on a Corvette? I don't think they gave away a Corvette, bro. Did they? I can't imagine. I'm pretty sure I know the person that you're talking about. I That would pretty much blow my mind if they had the ability to give away a Corvette. I can't really imagine that, but maybe. And it's without the E as well. It's X-P-E-L. Jeremy, I'll tell you what, my man. Um... I haven't done PPF for a while just because I don't really like doing it that much because you don't really see what you're doing if you do it properly because you're not supposed to see it on the vehicle. So I never really found it that enjoyable to install. My buddy though, I have a good friend, a really good friend uh, who just opened his own shop in, uh, in uh, Westchester, PA. I would recommend him over anybody, dude. Not just because he's a great friend of mine, because he is the best PPF installer that I've ever seen work from. The guy who trained him was one of the best installers that I ever knew. But he surpassed him now. You know what I mean? He's the one you would, he's, I would recommend him hands over anybody. Just because I've seen what he's done, you know what I mean? On a regular basis. Prides himself in doing really good work. And to a certain level. There's a lot of guys that'll see something, they'll be like, eh. They'll let it go. Jesse, that would be a cool idea. I need to figure out if there's a way that I can tie the bank driver job in with being able to be robbed. And also, so that it's just something that people see you. Like, they won't know necessarily that you're a bank driver. Um, bank driver. They might think that you're just a regular NPC or something, but you're not going to be marked. Excuse me. It'd be cool if we could make it marked. <laughs> James says, hook us up with some vets. Yeah, Jeremy, for sure, brother. Oh, it's Fridays for Green Dragon. I was afraid of that, man. I'm going to start... Uh the shop has been having uh, a uh, real lack of skilled labor. So I'm going to go down and s help out Fridays 3 to 6. I help out on Saturdays uh, 9 to 6. But I'm going to start going in on Fridays 3 to 6. And uh, try to help them out a little bit. I just ran out of fuel right here. I don't think that thing's going anywhere. Where's my crane? We gotta be on... If I take that upper bridge, I don't want to be up there. We gotta be on the lower half. Alright, we'll just take this. Screw it. Got about 12 minutes, actually like 10 minutes uh, left here until I'm going to take my lunch break and then I'm going to come back with Men of War, guys. And then we'll do more... What's today? Today's Friday. So tomorrow I will be at the shop until late. Then we'll probably just do GTA 5 tomorrow night. Maybe we'll do more Mud Runner on Sunday. Finish this map off. 
if we don't get it completed here, which I highly doubt. Somebody's outside doing some lawn work or something. There's people over there, man, across the street. They let their lawn get uh, to, like, around the one-foot level, and then they take care of it. Is this my turn? Yep, this is my turn. No, wait, this is not my turn. Yes, this is my turn, because I'm not going to take the upper bridge. We're going to take the lower bridge. I think that upper bridge would just put us way too out of the way, and I don't think there's a way to get down from there. What's up, buddy? up there does not look too stable I gotta tell you <laughs> things like rigged together with a bunch of sticks no peanut Kevin no peanut I was just that one series of trucks put it in fourth gear send it down the hill here full steam Yeah, you can drive on that bridge, James. That's the upper bridge that I was talking about. I was gonna take that, but that's way too high up there, obviously. I need to be down here along the riverside because that, that ford is sunk somewhere over here. I'm in fourth. Wow. I can't believe that thing ran across that river in fourth gear. somewhere. Oh, no, no, it's up here under the bridge. Jeez, this thing is leaning. I think that's where it started to go off the road, and then it ran down along the shoreline here. Holy shit, he sunk a truck right there, too? Look at the hill right here. This is why, man. A second here. <laughs> I 
Not even gonna say what he said. Get my anchors down. Stabilize myself here a little bit. Let's go fishing. All right, I think that's as far down as that can go. That's good enough. We can reach him with that. He's slowly floating away, though. He's got to hurry up and accept that winch. Okay, we got him. Oh, God. Don't pull me into this river. <laughs> oh, no, no! Let me raise that boom up. Oh, no, no, no! No! <laughs> oh, I was afraid of that. Son of a bitch. I think that truck weighed a little too much. What kind of vehicle is he, is he in? What is that thing? Is he in the D series? If he is, that's why. All right, guys. Well, it's basically two o'clock here. I am going to go take my lunch. And then uh, I will be back again. Don't pull in your stabilizers. They're still out. I can't start the truck right now, so I can't move the stabilizers. The outriggers, at, anyways. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, good stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was great. So there is our truck... There is our crane. He was uh, attempting a repair or a uh, recovery, pulling a truck out of the river. Didn't have that uh, sitting there properly. That looked like a YouTube moment right there. That's one of those videos you see on YouTube, or I'm sorry, on Facebook when you're swiping through. But uh, I'm going to go get some lunch, guys. I will be back then shortly, and uh, we're going to be... Oh, look, now it's sinking into the river. And I'm going to be playing some Men of War. So if you guys want to check out Men of War, it's going to be the World War II RTS style game. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't checked it out already, it's pretty cool. So I will see you guys then. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe. And uh, thanks for stopping by and all the stars, guys. Appreciate it. All right, later.